So let's see what's coming your way. And we do have death, which is um, Scorpio energy. Can be um, a Scorpio in your life and the two of wands. They put us at crossroads. For some of you, something ended. Um, can be a sudden ending. Can be like a natural process of, but nonetheless, it is an ending. We are not happy about Nine of Cups in reverse. And we are at crossroads contemplating choices. Um, two of Wands was in reverse, so it's kind of us resisting a little bit to make a choice at this time, and we need to mourn whatever ending happened. Page of Pentacles. Might be about money. Money might be involved in whatever separation ending. An opportunity, something uh, that went, um, you know, look good, but at the end of the day, um, it stopped um, in its tracks, right? Page to a level of page. We do have death and we do have the devil. Quite a toxic ending. Can be because of jealousy. Of jealousy. Can be because of uh, possessiveness. Can be um, because of toxic energies, toxic dynamics between the two of you. Can be because of fear. Kind of like the universe saying, oh, the devil and the three of cups might have been a third party situation here. Multiple people involved, multiple people watching. A friend that became more, uh, more than a friend, and then it ended with probably a divorce, death, and the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. Hierophant in reverse, we know it's all about a marriage that ended, a contract, falling out of a, of a relationship, of a partnership that felt solid at some point. And the magician manifesting new beginnings, having... I know it's a little bit of the energy of manipulation, but we have it upright, thank God, right? So we can manifest now new beginnings. We do have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, it can be a Scorpio, it can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and boy, they look beautiful, right? That's a King of Wands. Let's see, manifestation, we had the Magician with the King of Wands, and honestly, it's more of the energy of taking control in charge uh, of... A situation but we'll see so overall energy two of cups in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse nine of swords in reverse eight of swords in reverse i simply love this gemini i simply love this because yeah there is a disconnection here uh two of cups in reverse um it's a bond that we no longer have with somebody we had a connection body mind and soul it was honest, right? Two of Cups is one of the, the most um, honest feelings that we can have. And um, we invested in it. We spent time. We gave a lot of ourselves with the Seven of Pentacles. We we're supposed to expect results, but then um, but then we fell out of, of all this. But what I love the most, actually, is the Nine of Swords in Reverse and the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Kind of like the universe reminding you right that uh, you might have kept yourself a little bit hostage in your own mind um you know limiting yourself uh, after this disconnection and after whatever waiting time you had on your path i um, feel that the universe is saying you've been stressed and you kept yourself hostage and now it's time to release all this it's a good time it's a good timing yeah so you better get anxious right to release um um, all that energy that is no longer helping. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Again, the energy of impatience. So, you know, we better get moving. We uh, we better become, we better grow impatient about the stagnation around us. And, and um, you know, the, uh, the lack of movement and the lack of flow of energies that it created, right? So Gemini past energy is on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. Let us have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the decade of wands, absolutely stagnation. Might be a kid involved also, you might have a kid with this person. So Gemini past energies. Let me see what happens here. Oh boy. We do have the Tower and the Page of Cups. I kind of feel that they've messed up. They knew they messed up and they apologized for it. I do love 
you know, because it speaks of introspection and somebody looking at it, and uh, I kind of feel that they did it anyways, right? Um, Gemini, somebody brought a tower moment uh, on you. Um, I mean, fully loaded, right? That's a tower moment. It's like, you know, somebody's life going down in pieces and, and being, um, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure it's, it was a rude awakening and a separation. We had death all through shuffling, right? So it was, it feels like it was imposed on you, right? But it came with a form of kindness. Page of Cups is apologies. It's like, I'm sorry, but I need to do this. I'm sorry I did that, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to I move away and I'm, I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to... And it's kind of coherent, right? On their side, they do have the Two of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands. Um, it's like a long pain, Nine of Wands, right? It's um, really something we were passionate about. We chose in the past. We dedicated. We expected results. We put effort into it. And then, and then they got hurt at some point and they've made a decision about it. It's also the energy of releasing. Um, and I feel it's more on their side and you had no choice, but I, I feel like saying comply, um, because it felt with the death, it's like, you know, it's not that we can do much with the major arcane of the death, but, you know, I kind of feel that you had no choice and, and they try to be somehow kind about, but, um, at the end of the day, that was a tower, right? Mutual energy is between the two of you, the Hierophant in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse. It absolutely has the energy of we've been committed, we spent time together, we had such a beautiful understanding, values and morals involved in this, but then uh, we were very stressed about that. It's a nine of swords, right? Um, a lot of stress. It has the energy of exchanges, has the energies of, the energy of, um, you know, uh, staying up at night and uh, wondering if this connection uh, leads somewhere, you know. And then, um, and then the choice was made by this person and then everybody, right? So where are we right now? Gemini, we have the Four of Swords. I love this energy. This is planning, strategizing, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, you know, putting the burdens down, wanting to ease the pain, doing something actually, because Wands are all about action, right? So we do something to put the burdens down, to have a sense of uh, release and relief. And uh, I love the Four of Swords, of course, can be silent treatment. And I don't think that is much communication with this person, maybe from time to time. Um, but I kind of feel that it's more you taking control of your own mind just by the, the, com the combination of energies, right? It's making peace. Four of Swords is being putting your mind at ease that, you know, this is what happened and, and, and finding a way actually to feel more comfortable. Uh, with uh, what came afterwards, right? That's that's a ten of uh, wands. It has a sense of guilty here, Gemini. Somebody feels guilty, you know, ten of wands is really doing extra work because we want to, you know, um, we feel responsible for something. And I kind of feel that the universe is kind of telling you here, you know, put your mind at ease. You are not responsible here. It's kind of like it was not your fault. So don't take somebody else's load. Right? Think about. That's a four of swords. Think about. Use your mind um, and your memory and whatever exchanges you had with this person. Right? And put down the burdens if you feel that it was you, it was not you. Now, this person of yours, they do have the page of swords. This is you and the empress in reverse. Um, so, at this point, they... Your energy shows up on their energy. So, it is um, kind of like, you know, you are still there somehow. But the Empress in reverse, it's an indication that they, at this point, they feel empty. It's not much that's left to give. And um, and it has a sense of uh, emptiness and, and poverty and lack of resources. That's the Empress in reverse. So they might be going through, um, you know, uh, a period where uh, they may not have enough. Um, from time to time, they might uh, go back to whatever nurturing and kind and creative and abundant um, moment you had with them. But then, again, at the end of the day, um, you know, they've made a decision and I believe they are sticking to it despite whatever changes in finances, material world. 
um, creativity, happiness. We know the Empress is the most abundant energy in every way possible. Now, mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Three of Cups and we do have the Six of Cups. I'm going to, it's the only card I don't read in reverse because it's soulmate card. And um, we have absolutely here the energy of soulmates. We have the energy of thinking, still thinking of each other, coming to mind. It has the energy of staying friends, so for some of you, probably this is what um, allows you to, to be at ease and at peace, a sense of, you know, polite conversations and a sense of, um, a sense of staying friends and, and because it was a significant relationship, the Hierophant was almost like a marriage and Six of Cups is the energy of a bond um, that will always be there between the two of you. Now the outcome or moving forward, we do have the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Well, if we are dealing with a fire sign, they are absolutely not happy and they might bring that unhappiness your way. Um, you know, it's, it is a mature energy. For some of you, this is um, your energy and it's such a beautiful energy because it's kind of, it comes from a place of understanding what went wrong and um, you know, the ability for uh, of someone's ability to make you happy, right? Someone's dedication to make you happy. And Ten of Cups is in reverse, right? So what is life? It's a philosophy on what's hap what is exactly happiness and how. Um, what tools did they have, right, to make you happy? It's a good question. It's a good philosophy. But for some of you, food for thought, they make us unhappy. So what's the conclusion I need? right to have from this um when it comes to this person the outcome of this we do have the knight of cups and the judgment in reverse yes they have emotions for you gemini but the lack of judgment is just uh um you know i don't want to say tremendous but it does feel like in a sense of knight of cups is the most beautiful energy it has the maturity and it also it has the freshness of a new love, but again, right? And it's also my love you, I want you, I want to make love to you energy, but the Knight of Cups is paired with a judgment in reverse, right? Yes, they have emotions. They are not making a final decision just yet. Yes, they have emotions, but boy, they might not be using their better judgment at this time. Um, simply because we do have the Empress. They feel empty. They just feel empty and um, not much to give here. For some of you having kids, Gemini, that is a strong message here of someone wanting to remain friends because um, kids are involved in a, a sense of family, a sense of easy, breezy kind of energy that need um, needs to be kept, that sense of, because kids are involved. When it comes to love, I'm seeing, right, they don't know how to make you happy. They feel empty at this time and they are not using their uh, best judgment at this point. Mutual energies between the two of you, we do have as the outcome, right? Uh, energy coming your way. We do have the two of cups and we do have the four. It is the energy of taking a risk on love. This is how I feel that both of you, um, you know, coming together, it, that it, first of all, there is a lot of love in this connection. Six of Cups with the Two of Cups with the Three of Cups. That is love and there is a desire to reunite. But just, I, it feels like the timing is not right. Um, you know, you need to put your mind at ease. They need to look into what makes them abundant, secure, um, able to give or having enough to give with the Empress. And also a decision, they need to be, you know, um, available for a decision because right now um, I don't think they are. Uh, and because they are not, you are not, right? That's the dynamics I'm, I'm, I'm picking up here. And we are really, we have a sense of, and I feel, Gemini, this is more your energy because we have eight of swords in reverse, ten of wands in reverse. This is a burden and we just need some peace of mind, right? But this person is in a process of thinking, is in a process of recovering, it's in a process of taking control and completely unable to make a decision. But if your question was, did they love me or do, do they love me still? We have absolutely a couple of energies here saying, yes, they do. 
Um, now let's ask for some guidance and again the question is should we um, keep manifesting them or we just move um, we just move on and we do have unrequited love that is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so this is I would say like a red flag right this is not what we want what we want is absolutely honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I kind of feel that something is coming and we know December is just around the corner. For some of you, that is a timeline there. So we do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other and then you have honeymoon. You know what I, you know how it feels, um, Gemini? It feels like one is still in love and the other one is not. We do have unrequited love and a conversation needs to happen there. What else? Let your friends help you. Absolutely. One is in love, one is not. Bottom of the deck, playfulness. One is playing games, um, Gemini, and one is not. We have playfulness and romantic feelings. Somebody is in love for you, somebody is in playing mode. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Absolutely. And I know a conversation is needed. Uh, it is right here. Maybe December is the right time, right? People are more open to. But I feel, again, let your friends help you. It is unrequited love. Ask for help and move on here. Maybe after a conversation, right? Maybe some exchanges need to happen before we are able to move on here. We do have unrequited love and we have chivalry. So whoever is no longer in love with the other person, you know, they better, they better have that conversation with a lot of um, diplomacy and tact, right? With a lot of, um, you know, from a place of higher self, from a place of manners, of kindness. We do have reparenting yourself. So some of you are guided to take care of yourself. This is being, you know, showing up for yourself and being the parent you never had. Um, you know, teaching you concepts of, you know, related to um, self-care, healing, moving on, um, so on and so forth, right? Reparenting. Um, Gemini? Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. You do have heart-to-heart -heart conversation, conversations and look to your inner strength. Somebody here is reminded that actually you can, you can do this. You can handle this. You have what it takes. And we do have the Divine Masculine. Let your friends help you and the Divine Masculine. For some of you, don't stay by yourself. And I know it's a time of physical isolation. But guess what, Gemini, you have twice asked for help. Let your friends help you, and now we have asked for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Kind of like the universe saying, we need to move on. Yes, there are still, that you know, there is still love. There, there are still emotions in it. But there is also a lack of judgment and a, and a lack and a need to move on. Because this is not something that we need. Um... Oh, let's, um, let's have the energies we need to put back into the flow when it comes to this connection. And we do have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So we need to be disciplined, probably about controlling emotions, controlling feelings, controlling communication. Um, you know, we have discipline and patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Discipline, patience, and courage. I feel that we, we had death all through shuffling, and of course can be a Scorpio, but I kind of feel, Gemini, that for you, in order for you to let go, the universe is reminding you it takes discipline, it takes patience, and it takes courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. It's okay, we let go, it's okay. Right? You can do it. And it's homework, I know. What else? Surrender your belief in scarcity. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond 
your wildest dreams. And you know what I hear? This is not about money, right? This is not about money. This connection is not about money. I don't know who was. I know we have them very fragile financially. Um, you know, and maybe it's something that's on your mind and it maybe you feel responsible for it. That's how we get the Ten of Wands, you know. But um, no, no. Discipline, patience, courage, and we let go. And Gemini surrendered to receiving support and love, like real support and real love. And you have twice asked for help, right? Let your friends help you, ask for help. And now we have surrendered to receiving support and love. There is a Gemini out there who needs to be surrounded at this time by friends and family. So allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So, um, Gemini, let's have some general guidance. It has something to do with um, career and money. This one, but I know this is a love reading. But let's see what else we need to hear. <laughs> you do have time to decide. And I feel this is exactly what we need to do at this time. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires, um, Gemini. What else? We have something. We do have re time to decide in relationship. Your primary re relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal or balance a relationship then um, snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within social your other relationships bloom and prosper. So maybe I'm picking up the energy of somebody who is extremely uh, spiritual or uh, religious. And um, you are actually asked to make it, you know, um, to decide about a relationship. And you have light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. So there is a Gemini out there who is in the healing business and um, we can, we, we call it field, but sometimes we call it a business, but, and guess what? Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. So you better get healthy, spiritually healthy, physically healthy, mentally healthy, because we have work to do, right? We have a world to heal, uh, Gemini. Um, so, hey twice the uh, love and support ask for love and support Gemini I'm just saying I'm putting that out there it is confusing because we still have love but the universe is saying this is not the love you need this is not the love you want so you better be disciplined patient and courageous in changing this and asking for help um, because we have a lot of stress um, Gemini uh, nine of swords eight of swords is a tremendous amount of stress and you are asked three times in this reading to ask for help and um, make sure you get it make a plan and run with it stick with it i would say so hey gemini you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care